Good afternoon. Welcome to the I'm Part Missionary Baptist Church of West Memphis, Arkansas. We are so glad that you are joining us today. We thank God for putting it on your heart to stop by I'm a Part. We are so grateful for our faithful members of I'm a Part, for our Facebook friends, our Twitter followers, and those who listen and watch us on YouTube. We thank you once again for joining us today. You are so welcome. Thank you for attending this service. We hope that something is said today to bless your heart, your soul, Amen. and your spirit. And we invite you to join us this afternoon at 5 p.m. for our very first radio broadcast on WLOK FM 105 AM 1340, or you can join us on WLOK.com. Again, welcome to I'm a Part.
as we move to the book of Galatians, we find there in the scriptures, Galatians 6 and verse 9, said, Let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. I can read it again for you to understand. Now let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. I like you so a thought, don't give up now. Don't give up now. No matter what you're facing in this life, don't give up now. I come and carry your faith. Keep serving the Lord. Keep on keeping on. Continue to do a good work for God. You just have to continue to serve deep in your heart, in your spirit, to the, for the power and the fortitude so that you won't give up, that you'll achieve everything that God has ordered for your life. The passage that written by Paul found in the confines of the text, in the context of the bearing one another's burdens. That means every now and then you gotta learn how to help someone, someone else. Take me all about you and no more. And so we got all time that God wants us to have, be able to help one another along this journey. And that I believe if I can just help somebody and I pass along, if I can share somebody with a well song, if I can show somebody that he's traveling wrong, then my living will not be in vain. And I like it because that's what comes from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And we understand that God has positioned us in this time that we can carry, help carry one another's burden in spite of people's shortcomings. We have to be willing to lend a helping hand. God, we're willing to take them along this journey. And I don't believe, personally, I don't believe in giving handouts. But I believe in giving handouts. It's all saying that say, you give a, a person, you give a person a fish. They will eat for a day. But if you teach a person how to fish, they can eat for a lifetime. God give us strength as men and women of God be able to help somebody along. So we got to learn how to teach them how to live holy, how to live right, how to live according to God's will. God help me to help somebody obtain success so that the kingdom of God will be blessed. While we get my text, encourage us not to give up. The first thing that I see in the text that is spiritual. When they talk about sowing and reaping, that's a spiritual thing. That's a spiritual connection with God. If you're not going to faint on your journey, you need a spiritual connection with God. Because God will give you power. He will be carrying you through his word. My big mama said, just a little talk with Jesus will make everything all right. Jeremiah, he put it this way. He felt like he was going to quit. He was down and out. He was going to throw in the towel. But he said, his, his word was just like fire shut up in my bone. And many of us in here can understand when God's word is on the inside of you, even if you want to sit down, even if you want, you want to turn your back on him, but something just keeps pulling you to purpose. There's a spiritual connection. And I, I my dad used to say it like this. What is this that I feel deep inside? That keeps setting my soul on fire. What is this that makes people say I'm mad and strange? What is this that makes me want to run on in Jesus' name? It makes me love my enemies. And, and, and it makes me love my friend. And it won't let me be ashamed to tell the world that I've been born again. What is this that makes me do right when I want to do wrong? What is this? When I'm down low, it gives me a song. Tell the world that I've been born again. Whatever it is, it won't let me hold my peace. And that's why I thank God that we have a spiritual connection with God. The spirit in you won't let you give up. That's why I can tell that then I further look inside the text. You understand that not only is it spiritual, but you gotta be a servant. You gotta be a sword. Working in God's harvest. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Using the resources and abilities that God has given you 
to give him glory. We have to continue as men and women of God to use this in, in spite of what is going on that's trying to pull us away from God. We got to continue to fight off and learn to use the resources and ability that God has given us to give him glory. See, I understand that when you're sowing, when you're, when, you're, when you're a servant, that means you're working for God. I was told our eyes and mind is the devil workshop. That's why you can't quit. That's why you got to work in it. And you got to learn how to work through it. Because the devil want to pull you down. But how many know that God want to elevate you time after time? The problem is many people want to be served. They don't want to serve. Colossians 3 and 17 said, And whatsoever you do in word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Giving thanks to God the Father by Him. And how many understand that you can give God thanks? You can give Him praise. And when you can give Him, lift Him up, God knows how to give you strength to carry on, even when you feel like quitting. When you're serving the Lord, your maker, your creator, when you're serving, when you're all your mind, and with all your heart, when you invest it, then you can deny the thoughts of quitting. But you got to be invested. You got to roll up your sleeve and say, God, whatever you have me to do, I'm going to do it. Come hell or high water. Right now in the name of Jesus. Because if I said to not quit, you are valuable for the kingdom. I can't give up now because I'm valuable. God loves me too much. For me to give up now, my life has value. And the devil knows you cannot take my value from me. Trials and tribulations can't take my value from me. God has given it to me. This good light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. And you got to continue to fight this good fight of faith and resist the temptation of quitting on God because you're valuable. God has deemed you as valuable. And you got to understand that God is investing you some great things so that you can do some wonderful things for his kingdom. And then as I look at the text, I understand not only that I understand that I got to be uh, spiritual, I need a spiritual connection if I'm not going to faint, I understand that the text teaches me that I have to be a servant for God. And when I'm being servant for God, I'm going to go tired sometimes. But yet I understand there's a principle in there called sowing. That's casting seeds for gold. Sow into others. Also, when you sow into others, you understand that you're sowing into yourself and you're sowing into the kingdom of God. And then when you're sowing, that means that you're learning spiritually how to spread the word of God. We got to learn how to spread the word of God and not gossip. We got to learn not to spread gossip, but spread the gospel. The biblical principle, biblical principle teaches us of 2 Corinthians 9 and 6. That he that sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he that sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. There's something about sowing and reaping. That's why I can't give up now. I got to get my soul on because God got something greater for my life. And I'm so, while I'm sowing, I'm trusting. I'm trusting God. So I can't give up now. I can't stop, I can't stop sowing because I understand that God has a harvest that I'm willing to waiting on me. God has greater coming to me. And God has greater coming to you. Even though I don't always see it, I still believe it. What God has for me, it is for me. And can't no devil in hell take away what God has for me. So don't give up now. Keep on sowing for God. I won't stop sowing. No matter what folks say, God will make a way. Now we got to take you understand that when you're sowing for God, when you're doing some spiritual work for God, there's going to be some suffering that comes along with it. And that means there's going to be some challenges that come against you. That means there's going to be some time that you're going to go weary. But understand, through the suffering, yes, hardships of life will come your way. Life is not going to be easy. For many of us, we were not born with a silver spoon in our mouth. We have to, we have to get in our grit and our nerve and work for everything that we have. But we understand that no matter what, we can make it through the tests and trials and tribulations of life. Nobody told me that the road was going to be easy. I don't believe, but I don't believe he brought me this far to lead me. My suffering is my sacrifice to Christ. Understand that no matter what, you got to change your perspective on this thing. My suffering is really my sacrifice 
to Christ. Jesus, he didn't give up on us. No matter all of his suffering, no matter all of everything that he went through on his way to the cross, on his way to Calvary, on his way to dying and be placed in a bar tomb, on his way to resurrection, on his way back to the kingdom of heaven, he went through some suffering for us. But yet he didn't give up. And so we can't quit on God. God been too good to us. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. I will not give up. But I hope that you made in your mind that you will not give up. No matter how hard it gets. And then as we look at our text, we understand not only the Bible teaches us that if we continue to sow it, don't go weary. And if we continue to give, don't go faint in the power of God. There's a due season that is coming. What that means is that there's a settlement that's coming your way. Not only when you're sowing, you will reach some suffering, but then there's a new season. That is a settlement that is coming your way. That means payday is coming. Serve the Lord. We'll pay off after a while. He has the best retirement plan known to man. God has a mansion. And I don't know about you, but I trust and I believe that God has a mansion with my name on it. So you don't give up now. You can't give up now. God got some greater in store for you. Three points of praise, and then we're going to help you out here. Point number one, you understand that no matter how crazy you get, you feel like quitting, start praying. Because praying will give you power. There's power in prayer. And so you feel like quitting, and you feel like you can't carry on. When a mountain looks like it's too hard to climb for your life, get on your knees, y'all. When the burden gets to heaven, you can get on your knees. And when you get on your knees, you can lift it with your knees. Everything that comes in your way, there's power in prayer. And then number two, understand when it gets hard and you can't find your way, understand, be encouraged. God cares. Be encouraged. God cares for you. Yes, it's going to get hard. And so as you're going to get tough, they were saying is that when the going get tough, the tough get going. And that don't mean going the other way. That means going into the battle. Be encouraged. God is our great encourager. He encourages us. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not alone. He is a comforter. He know how to rock you in your restaurant. He know how to encourage your spirit. And then number three, learn the lessons taught by your challenges. Number three is learn the lessons Talk by your challenge. Through your struggles, God wants to teach us something. He wants to teach us how to be better and how to be a blessing to others and how to help others to be better. And so now, sometimes your child in your situation that you got to understand that there's a lesson in that thing to learn so that you can glean from so they can make you strong. And so many times, many of us go through lessons, but we don't learn anything. We got to learn from the lessons that God is trying to teach us. That's how we go better. That's how we continue not to faint. That's how we can reap what God has given us to reap after we sown for the Lord. Each one teaches one. And as each one teaches one, each one reaches one. We got to learn how to do it for the kingdom of God. And as I get ready to leave, and I get ready to leave my feet to where it is reap. If we get ready to leave it here, my feet to where it is, my feet to where it is reap. While I leave it where it is, I see where it is, there it is, and all. Now I stand for reward. That means God is a reward of those who didn't seek it. Well, you are. I see that it is very easy. Did he let you know that God empowered each and every one of us to read our goal for him? Right. And how do you know that Luke 6 and 38 is that give and it shall be given unto you? Yes, Good men press down, shake it together, run it over, shall men give it to your bosom. And so that's why we hold on God. God is empowering us to give. Well, we know how to read. I see the way it is. The way it is the way. The heaven knows that God is a God of action. And He wants all of us to be men and women of action. That means you got to be willing to do it.